I fucking hate my job. I've been with the company for about, going about three years, okay? I've been there in the company for three years, and originally I thought it was, um, it was going to be a good company. Uh, the people that were working there back in those times, three years ago, they were, they're good people, and it was nice. I feel like I'm in high school. I feel like nobody, like, takes the job seriously. Everybody bickers and bitches over shit that doesn't even make sense and people feel entitled to a position they don't even have they don't even fucking have this damn position and then they feel entitled to tell people what to do for one i don't kiss ass i don't there's something that's not me i don't do that if i don't like it i'm gonna say it i don't like it but at my job in order for you to move up you got to be buddy buddy and friendly with with people in order for you to go up and I don't agree with that I feel like you should be able to go up in a company based on your qualifications your experience so that's why I feel like you should move up in a company not because oh I'm because I'm buddy buddy with the manager I'm gonna get the position because I'm buddy buddy no it doesn't work like that not only that at least a good two or three people that you know they shoplift well, it's not shoplifting. It's internal theft. That's what, what it's called. Basically, what that means is that somebody steals in a store. And these idiots in this company, they know that. And instead of removing them from the equation in order to prevent, you know, situations like that to happen inside the store, they would rather keep their dumbasses in the store because they produce money. But isn't that counterproductive? I mean, on one hand, yeah, they produce the money. And on the other hand, they steal. So, that doesn't make sense. Nobody takes responsibility for their jobs. It's a whole bunch of he said, she said, and people are afraid to speak their minds. They're afraid to use common sense. It's ridiculous. Honestly, it's ridiculous. It really is. And I really, originally, when I went into the company, I had so much high hopes and high expectations and I thought you know since it was it was a family owned company I thought you know what it probably is gonna be different than these big box stores and you always realize that at the end of the day you're just another number you're not you know what I mean they don't look at you as an individual they just look at you as a fucking number on a piece of paper and if you don't produce the amount of money they need, then you can go straight to hell. Regardless of whatever you're going through in your life experiences or, or how bad you need the money, if you don't produce what they need, then sorry, you get the hell up out of here. That's how they, that's how this, this store operates. That's how any store I've been to operates, honestly. You know, people are so stuck and they're like trapped in their job and their work environment that they can't go on a vacation because they're afraid that, oh, what if I lose my job because I take too long of a time of vacation? Or, they're not, or they can't spend their weekends with their children because, you know, their job doesn't care. They need you there for that weekend. So there is no balance with work and play. People are getting stressed out and then they get all worked up because, like, they don't know what happened to their children, yet they're stuck at work all day. You know that's not that's not a life I wasn't I wasn't raised or born to just work my ass off for other people I don't I don't believe that I don't believe that that's what I'm here to do I'm not here for that you aren't here for that either but again that's just my opinion guys uh, that's it I hope you guys have a great day better than mine cuz I gotta go into this shithole <laughs>